What's up, guys? I'm back for a short commentary. I want to show you some things in Crisis 2. Uh, me and Jay, Jay is legendary. We're going to show you some stuff. Um, here's me on the leaderboard, just in case I ever get uh, reset from doing this private match. I'll at least have a picture or a video of or where I uh, reside on the leader leaderboards. So, um, yeah, we're going to show you, show you just some stuff um, in comparison to the Crisis 3. Uh, th this is for you know for the people that that's never played Crisis 2. Uh, for the people that have, this will be boring, and if you don't want to watch, I understand. Um, and I ch I chose Skyline here just because you know you guys know Skyline on Crisis 3 as well. And and in case you guys have never seen a different video of Skyline or what it looks like on C2, now you'll see. Um, but I have a feeling most of you have probably seen Skyline before anyway. On, on this game, but it's just so much brighter and, and more detailed and just a lot better. Uh, it's just really cool. I'm I'm I'm, t I'm real tired of the dark green mossy maps. Like that's that's all it is in Crisis Three. Um. So yeah, I'll show you a couple things here. Um, Air Stomp is a perk. I, I enjoyed it. A lot. I probably have the most air stomps in Crisis 2. I guarantee it. No one would argue that either. Um, and the fast recovery right there, which is really neat. But I didn't like. I'm not used to having an, uh, an energy bar. <coughs> and I was talking to Jay uh, about this. If Crisis 3 came out first, or if, or okay, I'll say this: if if Crisis 2 had infinite sprint and Crisis 3 didn't. Then I wouldn't have liked the next game. If that's what I'm trying to say. For example, okay, Crisis 2 didn't have infinite sprint, and so we had to adapt, and that's what we got used to, you know, over the years. And and of course, we loved Crisis 2. But oh, by the way, we're not playing here. We're not actually trying one v one. We're just messing around. Um, more just kind of showing you stuff. Um, just to uh, let you guys know, um, this isn't a legit one v one here. Um, like right here, I'm going to be try to do the melee, the double melee glitch on him. I, I didn't, I failed, but I'll get it next uh, next time. But it, uh, so yeah, we adapted to this game and how it was, and we loved it. And then Crisis 3 came out, and you know, most a lot of them didn't like it, but I adapted to the infinite sprint. Like that's a huge thing to me. And I got, and there's the, watch this. So here's the double melee. Do 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 the qu quick in, in like that. And uh, it's crazy. You can kill like two or three people with, I mean, three or four people within two seconds. It's crazy. Uh, we never did it. <coughs> we never did it back in the days. So, uh, Xbox didn't know this glitch until right near the end when everyone was gone. Uh, but the PS3 guys, they they knew it, and because uh, they're, they're the ones that figured it out, um, and they did it. But I'm glad. I'm glad we didn't know about that. So here, we're just gonna show you the map right now. It's kind of how it looks. It's just kind of neat. In case you guys haven't seen it. Uh, it's pretty cool. While I do this, I'll continue with what I was saying. Um, the infinite sprint, like I got so used to that. I mean, I, it just makes more sense. M more sense to have inf infinite sprint for me. At least I got spoiled and I, mean, I was used to it. Come back to this game, and the fact that we have to, we're being forced to stop, is such a huge thing. Like I think that's so important. Like I would never play this game again. I mean, that infinite sprint is just huge. I mean, you know, there, there's some cool things about this game that I like better than, than, than C3, but I'm telling you, I, they did it right uh, when it comes to that, because if this was Infinite Sprint and Crisis 3 wasn't, forget it, because I would just be like, now we have to stop all the damn time? Like, no way. No way I would play that game. So they played it smart when it, when it comes to that. That's for sure. <coughs> so here, um... I'm going to show you, maybe you've seen in my old video, but I'm just going to show you, show you real quick here. If you guys have Crisis 2, uh, you'll never be able to play it unless you gather friends, you know, and set it up. But if you guys haven't never played it, you know, go to a private match by yourself. If you can unlock the Marshal in one of the default classes, I think you still have to unlock it. But, I mean, if you can, I can show you how to do this right there. It's, it's really neat, really fun. You can explore all the maps and go up to high places. It's really fun. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think you have to unlock it. Um, the default class, I think. So you might be uh, out of luck there, but 
give it a shot and I can I can tell you how to do that you walk on the barrel of the HMG and uh, kind of like okay, what I'm about to do it here so you walk on the on the barrel stand on the gun aim it kind of aim at the other the other end of the HMG and you hit three buttons at the same time you hit the X button the shoot button and the jump button and it'll just launch you in the air and uh, I did it here it, it's, it's pretty neat uh, but this is a map called Terminal now. Um, this is everyone's favorite map on on Crisis 2. It was a short map, and we just we just loved it. We just wanted to be in shootouts, you know, battle and, and strafe. And uh, speaking of the strafe, we're going to show you in just a, a minute here. Um, this is what we all like. For example, if, if Crisis 3 had the uh, strafe, like the aim enhance here in, in Crisis 2, I, I would use the X43 mic every game. And I would strafe. Grendel will do nothing. Grendel will be pointless in Crisis 3 now if we all strafed. And we'll show you how, how wicked it is in, in just a second. But yeah, we're just checking out the map, kind of showing you guys. <coughs> I was telling him here, there was a hacker that said, yeah, if you slide somewhere in this room and you can get, you know, get on the other side, and I, I'm pretty sure it's uh, a lie. So, but anyways, uh, we're going to switch to. Uh, Aim enhance. <clears throat> so here we go. We're gonna be strafing here. We're gonna w just watch him strafe. From this is from super far away too. Watch this. This is a scar. I mean, it's just and we have bad aim too. Usually you die a lot faster. Um, and it doesn't look fast on his screen like that, on his point of view. But from our point of view, he and his body is really actually strafing really fast. It, it's nuts. I mean, it's, so we're just kind of showing you guys the strafe here. Um, and I nearly died there. And there's just no, there's no recoil. Can you imagine the scar like this on Crisis 3? Man, I'd, I'd use this uh, every game. Every game. Look how brutal that is. Apparently, it's easier to get headshots because uh, I cut I cut a lot of stuff out in, this, in in our two games that we played. But uh, like every shot was a headshot for me. I was like, what the heck's going on? Like, gee, this is easy. But yeah, no recoil, so it was just uh, really easy. But yeah, this is what we did. All, all you know. Not exactly like like this uh, from this far away all the time, but just run around and uh, just strafe. And uh, that was it for the most part in Crisis 2. You just gotta strafe and and, and hope we we find an enemy before we before we run out of energy. And uh, that's essentially it, to be honest. But it was so much fun and such a powerful move that uh, I mean we just we just got addicted to it. We loved it. But, uh, see, so yeah, I just wanted to show you guys, uh, for the people that, that's never seen it, uh, just a little bit of information there. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll, uh, you know, keep doing my thing, upload videos and commentaries. Take it easy.